Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Sonic Waffles, and today we have a game of Search and Destroy on Estate, Estate, whatever. Uh, today's class setup will be the TAR-21 with Red Dot Sight, I have Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and I believe Ninja Pro, this is a very old game. This is actually when I uh, first started my Sonic Waffles account with the M1014 with the Red Dot Sight as my secondary, and hang on, let me... Let me adjust this so we can see this. This is a very old game back when I first started my Sonic Waffles account. And I died right off the start because I blindly rushed up here throwing a stun grenade. And I sped this part up. I just not right here. I don't know why. But just so you could see this guy. He's simply just walking around. Not even running. And then watch this. This is pretty crazy. He's just like sitting there. And then he watches a guy walk right in front of him and hit him with an RPG. It's... It's pretty crazy. Just look at the slow motion. Alright. Just walking right in front of him. Just staring at him. And then gets hit in the face. And he just takes it like that. So, I decide to do something about it. And this is probably one of my best search and destroy games. Excluding a 20 and... It might have been a 20 and 2, but I still think it's a 20 and 1. Um... I'm not just saying that, oh, I got a commando death. No, I believe it was a 20 and 1, but um, I might be thinking of a different game. It was on Terminal. I, did, I didn't record it. It was on my other account. It was like one of the very first games to search and destroy I've ever played on the game. Which was actually like uh, two months after I bought the game. I didn't play search and destroy for two months after Modern Warfare 2 was released. So, right here I plant the bomb. And the final score to this is actually a 16 and 2, which is really good for Search and Destroy. To be honest, if you think about it, uh, normally, let's just say you play a 5 round game, you know, 4 to 1. You know, if you're playing with good people, then if say you get, uh, you know, there's 6 people on your team, 6 people on the other team, so you're lucky to get 1 kill each round. It just makes sense. So... You know, one person each round, that's a five kill game. That's what basically, you know, if you're if you're just a standard person, you should be able to get five kills easily. Well, and you should die somewhere around five times. Or somewhere around somewhere around there. I mean that's just what's normally happened. And to change that I'd say anything above eight and two, maybe eight and three. But luckily I I think that was a one versus three situation. I'm not sure. Today I nearly had a one versus five, but unfortunately it was ruined by a guy camping with a sniper rifle. He he didn't know what he was doing. He had like scavenger on and stuff. But anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about is uh, I didn't really have a topic. I just kind of started with this, but it's actually my kind of like not wish list for Black Ops. But I really hope that in Black Ops they they kind of didn't. I don't believe that they looked over everything. Like I said in my last video, they should really should have given the game to the hackers, to the people that love doing glitches, the people that study these things until until the glitches become public. And they really should. That's what I think they should have done to make sure that there wasn't anything wrong in the game before it was released to the public. Because now that they're releasing it, from what I have heard, actually I'm not going to tell you that because Activision has really tightened down on Black Ops. So, um, but anyways, on a certain game that I've heard, uh, I don't know which game it is. In that game, that the multiplayer system is actually based a little bit more on downloads, so they can change more things like. Most multiplayer games, about half of the multiplayer, or maybe even more than half, say 75% of the multiplayer, is based on the disc. So, for example, Modern Warfare 2, I believe that 75% of the multiplayer, like the guns, uh, most of the game modes, like, no, actually, no, none of the game modes were actually on the disc when they was printed. The guns in the multiplayer, the ranking up system, you know, how do those things work, the basic game mechanics, alright? Well, if something's wrong in the game mechanics, to fix that, you would have to replace every Modern Warfare 2 disc. It's just not possible. Which maybe in future systems, they'll be able to put out an update that says, Hey, the next time the system starts, uh, and this is in, this disc is in the, um, 
disk tray or the disk slot, then ask the user if they would like to update their disk, like for patches and stuff. And this way, this is for, of course, for the PS3. I'm not really sure if the Xbox 360 uh, actually can, and I don't think the PS3 can either. But for example, say in the future systems, if they do happen to release a system that can also read and burn Blu-ray DVDs, like you know, Modern Warfare 2 is a Blu-ray DVD, that what it would do is that they would make a patch, so they would deliver the patch to the system, and then the system would basically communicate with its disk tray to, hey, burn this piece of code because, say, this gun's too overpowered, but the thing is, we put that gun damage, it's not actually, like, multiplayer based, that gun damage is actually printed on the disk. So what it would do is it would re... Basically, it, you could patch anything in the game. All right. Now this obviously it's not it's easier said than done because you know people people could obviously abuse the abuse the system just by you know maybe like sending their own patches to the file and then they would have to reprint discs. So many things just to make this happen, but. That would be something really amazing. And from what I heard on this game that I've been playing, I know I kind of got off topic, but this game that I was playing the other day, actually I wasn't playing it, but uh, I heard about it. Most of the multiplayer is on a download base, so it might take a little bit longer to load the multiplayer, but the thing is they'd be able to patch more if something went wrong. So I'm not saying that is any game that you might that might come out on, a, on November 9th, 2010, but... Maybe uh, the game that comes out November 9th, 2010, will also have that kind of that, that kind of system. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to release that information because it could get banned, you know, suspended. If anyone even notices. Anyways, uh, I, I don't know if you guys notice already, but I have also made an intro, an introduction for a group of people, Fatal Gamers HD checked out some of their videos. It is a community channel. Uh, this community channel is a sniping channel. It's Fatal Gamers. And I've seen some of their videos, and let me tell you, they are some pretty beast snipers. They're, they're really good. They're really good. I mean, I go watch a couple of montages, and even um, a guy posted the intro that I made in a separate video on his channel with over 500 subscribers. Unfortunately, this uh, this boost only came with about six or seven subscribers. I actually felt like I deserved a good subscription. I did not work really hard on that introduction. I could have tuned up the intervention a little bit more. But anyways, if you if you want to see that video, the link is inside of the description, and uh, feel free to go click on it. See how I did on my. 3D work, and that that was actually made in Cinema 4D, by the way. And it, it took me a while to make the intervention. I, I used a a template for the M40A3, which actually some people it was on a video. Uh, some people uh, actually made a tutorial on how to transform this old template of an M40A3 and just remodel it using some modeling tools in Cinema 4D. So it was a very interesting process. Leave a comment whether you want me to start doing editing videos. All right, a lot of people do editing channels, but uh, can I, for myself, as you've seen some of my re most recent videos, like that Call of Duty 4 video, I can turn some really crappy footage on s standard definition into some amazing near HD quality. And I believe that my quality is probably, I think it is the best you can get without buying an HD PVR. Which is actually the last thing I wanted to mention, Christmas is coming up, alright? Uh, now, the first thing I need to get before I can get an HD PVR is an HD TV. Alright, you can't record an HD and play in standard definition. It does not work like that. So, get an HD TV, and until I get the, you know, say the HD TV is five hundred dollars I have six hundred dollars that leaves me you know I gotta scrounge up another hundred bucks for the HD PVR because they are approximately two hundred dollars I would probably get the hop hog since my computer is not compatible with either the 
Black Magic Intensity Pro or the Black Magic Intensity Shuttle because it is not applicable with the USB 3.0. So. Anyways, that might be coming soon. So maybe if I need that 100 bucks, um, maybe in Christmas time, I'll be able to get the HD TV and the HD PVR somewhere around there. I am saving up money. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I know I didn't talk about the gameplay, but you know what? In 10 days, we don't have to worry about this gameplay anymore. All right. Hopefully, when Black Ops comes out on November 9th, we will. I'll have some gameplay footage up the first day. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Goodbye.